Alexa, is the tomato sauce still fresh? Alexa, how much cereal do we have left? Our world is getting connected at a staggering pace. Yet, when it comes to food storage, we're doing it the same way our parents did. Introducing Silo. Silo's patented technology is the only one-step vacuum sealer on the market. Simply place one of our unique containers on the base. Gently press down. Within seconds, the container is perfectly sealed, keeping it fresh up to five times longer. We've also created an easy way to keep track of your food freshness. Every time you store something new on the device, it will be automatically added to your inventory. Please state the container's content. Strawberries. Okay, I've added strawberries to your inventory. Silo will always know how long your food has been stored and if your food is fresh. Alexa, is the chicken slow okay? The chicken should be good for at least five more days. And of course, because it is built on the cloud, it will always get smarter. Bring up Tal Lapidot, the CEO of Silo. So you, I am definitely not going to shake your hand because I don't want to add any bacteria to any of this food, which we're about ready to eat. We're going to actually get down and dirty or do something I like to do uh, with some real food. Welcome. Sit, have a seat for a second. Thank you, John. The, uh, it's, it's, it's great to see Silo here. I, when I saw this, I thought of my late mother, who in the, in the Jewish tradition, you know, mothers, and I think it's probably about many peoples, are always saying, don't waste your food. The, the problem is, is that food waste is a huge True. societal problem. How much of our food is wasted? So the thing is this, today, about a third of all food is wasted. But what's not common and what people don't speak about is that 40% of the waste actually happens in our own kitchens. We're the worst part in the developed world from the entire supply chain line. 40% of our food that makes it to our kitchen never makes it to our mouth? Yes, 60% of our food at home is, you know, quick turn perishable. It could be meat, dairy products, fresh produce, fish. All those things have very short shelf life. So why are they, yeah, why are they w wasting? We have Tupperware that should be good enough, no? Well, it should, but a Tupperware has its limits. And in general, like, this is not something that is intuitive to us. You know, we can just this past 50 years, we got to this abundance we have today where every home is stuck every week and is full with food. And even, you know, BCG recently posted that the food waste problem is so severe that each year we waste about one point. $1.6 trillion worth of food. That's it's massive. A, it's unbelievable. I want to get to what you actually do. So how do you solve food waste? What do you do? So my background is product development. I've been developing product for almost 15 years. I've done so in the military, developing special equipment for special forces. And basically, the idea for Silo was born when I was frustrated with growing cherry tomatoes. You know, every week you open the fridge and you find yourself, you know, open a box of produce that you purchased last week, you forgot about it, of course, you didn't buy the right amount, and as a result, you throw it in the trash. And I was looking for something that will extend the shelf life of my food. I mean, that's uh, without silo, and that's with silo. Yeah, in other words, that's what happens. Why does yours not perish? So one of the things is, this is common in the industry, you know when you buy stuff in the industry, when you buy stuff in the supermarket, it usually has much longer shelf life. But when we bring it home, we don't have the industry capability that you, know, you can have in industrial packaging. What Silo is doing is bringing this magic of food storage that is in the industry, which is vacuum, to the home. So you're basically vacuum sealing yeah. a, a Tupperware kind of a product. Yeah. So the vacuum seal market is actually quite massive. In the US, we're talking about 20% of US households that own a vacuum seal. Really? Yes, one of every five homes. The problem is those devices are designed for bags. Nobody has cracked how to bring the simplicity. I mean, they're bags which are not reusable in exactly. most cases and are creating more of a plastic problem to begin with. As well as bags are not versatile. They're very specific. So things you will store in containers such as cooked food or, you know, uh, like from dairy products, you cannot keep them in bag. You cannot keep cheese in so a bag. So how do you start vacuum sealing on a uh, so box? Let's, let's, let's go you. take a look. Yeah. <laughs> so... So basically, we created the world's first device that vacuum seals just by placing a container on a device. So that's the silo device, yes. which has, by the way, Alexa built in. We'll uh, find that out in a second. But go ahead and show us how you seal it. So you just place a container on the device and apply a bit of force, and it will vacuum seal your food. 
We use marshmallows because they actually expand quite drastically inside the <laughs> container. <laughs> Vacuum complete. And as you can see, it requires almost no effort. And then to open it up, how do you open it? You just release the valve. And you hear that noise. I don't know, we should put the microphone right there. But it's, it's unbelievable. It's that easy? Yes, we had a four-year-old operate it without any problem. And kids love it. And, and, but the technology is actually pretty significant, right? Because you have a bunch of patents here. Because the vacuum, if you tried to put a, uh, a vacuum you know, uh, entry point here, yeah. this thing would collapse. So we have a, basically multiple patents on the design of the system. We're the only company in the world who can create this one-touch vacuum because we have a special airway in the side of the container. The problem is if you have any sort of liquids or grain inside the, inside the container, it will clog any sort of port you'll try to put in the bottom. And, and this is BPA free. And this is BPA free, dishwasher safe, microwave safe. It's very, it's the, basically the most premium type of plastic you can get in the market today. All the major. And how, how robust is it? Can I? How robust it is? Well, let's do it like this. I think it's better. It's cool, cool how the mush, marshmallows get bigger and then they get smaller at the same Vacuum time. Vacuum complete. And how robust it is? That's, that's how it is. Wow. <laughs> that's robust. I had a Golan What happens if I throw it here? Go for it. There it is. It's still sealed. Still so sealed, can still that strong. Back to us. <laughs> and this is not now even. We'll, we'll find out if it's still sealed. We'll push the button. Yeah, here. There it goes. There you heard that vacuum seal. So we've actually done some tests, right? We had some people in your company Correct. put some stuff away in two containers. And they've been sealed now for some time. We'll show the video about how you're sealing them in a second. This is more information about the company, which we didn't get to. Here's the proof. Hi, Akot Summit. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> that was February 3rd. And I'm putting strawberries in my silo. Yeah. So we've sealed some silo That's strawberries cool. and some regular strawberries. Yes. February 3rd. Can we get a volunteer who will do the silo taste test? Please come up and join us on the pre-summit show. <laughs> this is not dangerous, right? OK. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Thanks for joining us. OK, so go ahead. So you have two containers. This is the same strawberries, the same box. This is a regular Tupperware, and this is a silo. And they were both sealed February 3rd. Yeah. So let's hear that. Let's open up the silo. You know, let him do right it. Here. OK, we hear the air coming out. And so this is the. But maybe you should taste the other one first. If you're willing. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Can we get a video clip? Oh my gosh. This is not too good looking here. I don't know if you can see the mold growing on these strawberries. I wouldn't eat them. No, I don't think you should. And this is in the silo. Um, but let's, you'll try the silo? Yeah, sure. OK. I will try with you. Oh. Me too. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> that's on my diet, and it's good. <laughs> and that's been in for nine days? Yes. Wow. A round of applause, guys. This is one of these things we all want in our house. Now, do you want to do the parsley? Parsley is sort of nasty. Yeah, I think just That's like it. Pesach, OK? You know, very, very useful yeah. for your Seder in the yeah, things like It's an inside joke. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Thank you very much for coming up. I'm putting parsley in my silo. <laughs> so. Um, just to wrap up here, the, uh, what's the go-to-market? How are you going to get this thing in people's hands? So we actually see, we launched uh, the product on Kickstarter last, uh, last year. We had a massive success. We sold $1.4 million of products in 30 days. And we actually keep... 1.4 million of product in 30 days? That's good. Yes, we, and we're actually the third most sold smart kitchen appliance on the platform. So the third uh, most sold? Yes. Well, we're looking forward to great news. I want to see if I can get some advice from uh, Alexa here. So uh, I, I think the idea, and this is the smartness of Silo that we didn't even get the chance to touch. But the idea was that we want to improve your experience and help you manage your food better with the system. 
And so every time you store something in silo, you tag it using voice. And afterwards, this goes to the cloud and help us basically better manage our food. So for example, I will, try, I will say, Alexa, how did I perform this month? This month, you consumed 90% of the fresh produce you bought. You have saved seven pounds of food waste, equal to $35 of savings, and avoided carbon emissions equal to driving a car for 23 miles. Alexa, ask Silo if I can have a cookie. John, we have talked about this. No more cookies. You still have celery you haven't opened since you stored. Okay, well, I'll get to that celery. Thank you, Tal, Thank you, from Silo. Thank you. Pleasure.